Please subscribe to Apple Bean Fan TV. Hello Red Army and welcome back to another video. This is a bit of a different video, as you can probably tell by the title. It's going to be a debate by me and Let's Talk AFC. And by the way, go over to his channel because we're probably going to be doing uh, another type of video on this, but not really. Uh, it'll probably be going up in the next few days. I'm not actually sure what the plan is yet. I'm not sure what the video is going to be, but uh, I think it might be something to do with predicting the well, the upcoming fixtures in the SPFL, and we might do another down the kind of talk over there. So go over to Let's Talk AFC and wait for that video coming up. So um, yeah, this is a bit of a different video. It's a podcast uh, slash debate. Uh, really, me and you and from, from Let's Talk AFC are going to be debating whether we think McInnes is going to. We think McInnes should stay at Aberdeen, or whether we think it's time up for McInnes and he should go. And we didn't actually come to a conclusion at the end of it, so we're basically going to leave it to you, the viewers, and you can just let us know who do you think, whose side do you on? Who do you think um, won the argument? Do you think McInnes should stay at Aberdeen? Do you think he you want him to leave? It's up to you. So we kind of left on a bit of a cliffhanger. So you'll have to make up your own opinion in the comments. We've given you points, we've given you arguments, um, either for or against McInnes. And yeah, you just have to make up your own minds. And so yeah, let's just get into it then. Right, okay, so we're with Let's Talk AFC. Hello? And basically in this video, as I've said in my intro, we're basically going to be doing, well, Ewan's going to defend the out for McInnes, so he's going to be saying why he wants McInnes to get out, then I'm going to argue against him why McInnes should stay at Aberdeen, and basically you can decide um, who you thought won the argument and who you're backing, so either McInnes in or McInnes out. So um, yeah, I'll let you get the ball rolling, so give us your first reason why you want McInnes out. So just touching on what you said about the Vops and Shakira game, do you think that we set up differently in those matches or do you just think because they were poorer sides that they made us look you know better what? than we actually I think were? It was just they, they were? Yeah, I think it was just because they were poorer sides, to be honest. Yeah. That's what I think it was. I think we were, we were, we were, I think we played a mix of very well and I just think they were very, very bad. Yeah, because I did think in that Shakira match we actually did play some good football. But um, yeah. that was really a mix of them not being very good and us playing pretty decent. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. So, my first point is, um, if Derek McInnes leaves Aberdeen or gets sacked, uh, who else do you bring in? Who really is out there in the market looking for a job that you can bring in that's going to do a better job than McInnes has? So, in my, in my view, actually, there's this recent thing that's been coming out, and um, you, everyone will know him as the ex manager Gordon Strachan yeah. he said that he would be interested in coming back to managing so I think he would do a very good job and he has links with Aberdeen as you know he used to play for us yeah. I, I, I think generally that he would do a pretty good job uh, up here but we'd, we have to give him 
him a chance for that to come in because I think he's a higher, he's like a higher, he's a bigger name in football than uh, Derek McInnes is, which may actually attract some players to come play for us. But you can't guarantee that. But yeah, um, I see what you're I saying. I think he would be a, a best option for a replacement maybe if he wants to come back to managing because he said after Scotland he wouldn't come back, but recently he said he might be thinking about coming back to managing again. But he just wasn't sure. So I think he'd be a good replacement. But also, this is just a little, little strange one. But I don't, I don't think mo- many people agree with me on this one. But I actually really like the Motherwell manager Stephen Robinson. I think he's done a great job there. And I'm not sure okay. if Kate Aberdeen that he'd do very well here because we definitely have more money than Motherwell. So I'd like to see the resources that he's bringing in and players that we get here. Uh, from him, and, he, and like I'd like a manager that has the attitude of Neil Lennon, like when he was at Hibs, like okay. he wouldn't go out to, uh, especially at home, he wouldn't just let Celtic and Rangers dominate the whole game. He'd put his team out to go fight for the win, along with them. Yeah. But it seems when like especially Celtic when they come to Torch, we kind of set, let them do their stuff and don't get right stuck right into them. We've done it a few times, but like. Games last season against Celtic, especially at home, and Rangers at home as well. I think we sat off them too much and let them do yeah. their stuff. But when, they, when you get stuck right into them, they kind of they make mistakes, as you as you can see us um, between Hibs and Celtic at the, at the weekend in that one-one draw. Yeah. So this is this is just a theory that I was thinking of, but obviously we know how Scotland are getting on at the moment in the whole Steve Clark situation. But my thinking is, if we wait a few months, knowing how it's going for Steve Clark just now, if he gets sacked from Scotland or leaves Scotland, maybe could that open the door for him for a move to Aberdeen? Do you know what? I, I, I would actually think that, because I don't think he would go back to Kilmarnock, and I don't think Kilmarnock would sack a West you are this time, because I actually think he's turned the team around a little. By bringing okay. in, I think he's brought in some good players, but yeah. I don't think Tom Martin would sack him now. And if they asked him to leave, to be honest, I don't think he'd leave either because he wouldn't want to stay there. And Steve Clark would be actually a very good option because when he first came in, we were, there was this really bad period that Derek McInnes was having. Aberdeen, it was about the uh, season before the last. And then we were thinking, oh, we can maybe go try and get Steve Clark as our new manager if the um, person doesn't work out. But then Derek McInnes seemed to get the results to go his way and then make us turn back to him, which seems to happen. It's the same with Craig Levine as well. I think they're about the same. They have this bad run of form, but then they get these good results that back them back up and then make fans turn back onto the side, if you know what I mean there. Yeah, uh, I'm going to just add what you mean. So now I'm going to get on to my really second point about really um, why I think McInnes should probably stay at Aberdeen. Uh, it was before McInnes came to Aberdeen, we were going through a really, maybe except about the 2008 period for about a year, we were going through a really rough patch. Obviously, we really, we really never picked ourselves back up after Alex Ferguson leaving. So we were really a mid-table side with McInnes, and he's managed to pick that up, consistently got us second place for about, what was it, about five years in a row? And he got us third in his first full season and fourth last season with a cup. And so the co- the question is, McInnes has achieved a lot higher than all of the other managers before him, except Ferguson. So why would you get rid of him? So that's why I'm just saying that McInnes, even though, you know, at the start of this season, everyone's saying, oh, it's going really badly. I know, it, I know you know, we're not playing up to the standards that we should be, but we're two points better off now than, they, than we were this time last year. And this time last year, there were a lot less rumours about, oh, we want McInnes out. It's really just come out because of those performances in the past uh, week against Hearts and Rangers. So that's why I really think that we were a mid-table side before McKinnis, very mediocre, and I think that that's a, a reason why he should stay at Aberdeen. And, so, in your opinion, do you think it was? Do you in do you think it was acceptable for our team to go out and lose five 0 to Rangers at Ibrox? Um. Well, no, I, I don't think it was acceptable for us to go out and lose. Uh, I mean, not not like not like was it acceptable the way that we lost five no it was it I mean the way that we went out and played and didn't even put a challenge up against them oh no you think that was acceptable no, yeah. because I completely understand how McInnes is saying that oh, if you give Derek McInnes the money that Steven Gerrard's been given, Brendan Rodgers, now Neil Lennon, if you give him that money, then he'll create a better team 
than that. And we definitely would not lose 5 nil at Ibrox. But even not put it, putting up a fight on Saturday, I definitely think we should still... We should, we should maybe should maybe still be losing by a decent amount because of how much money Rangers have spent, but definitely not putting up a fight like that because that was probably one of the worst Aberdeen performances I've seen in a long time. So yeah, yeah. that was definitely not acceptable. The way we didn't even really try. It looked like none of the players cared. Um, as soon as Rangers went one nil up, all the heads went down, and it just seemed like Joe Lewis, who was a great keeper, he kept us in the game. But I don't think he's got much authority over that team, and I don't think he was the right man for captain. Yeah, I don't think the, him as a goalkeeper is good because he can't get out. He can't literally like Shinny would. He can't yeah. go out and give the out like like wild the team up if you want know yeah. from the goalkeeper. He can't go all the way to shout to Cosgrove to do stuff like Shinny could go right up yeah. to him and go and tell him like. So I don't think I think Lewis. I think I can see why the kid has made him the captain. But I don't think it was the right decision for him to be yeah. the captain. I personally think Considine should have been the captain. Yeah, he's he's the most dominant player in our team. He's been here the longest. He's got experience in the game. Yeah. So as I say at the moment, I think he's our best player. He's yeah. Plays, he's playing the most consistently well at this at this moment. Yeah, we it showed in the defence. You know, we we really missed him on Saturday because there was a massive hole in that defence. You know, criticise Kotstein all you want all you want, but he knows what he's doing. You know, Kotstein, he'll control that defence. He knows what he's doing. He's experienced in the game. He's played in Europe. He's played in cup finals. He know how he knows how Scottish football works. And we really missed him on Saturday, I think. Yeah, I I just don't think Viner's Viner's not the type of man to play centre back at all, but he's supposed to be a centre back but he doesn't look like a centre back, and he doesn't look like a right back as well. He didn't yeah. really look. look he just, just he looks like, he looks out of position. I wasn't sure was he playing on the left or right side because like sometimes he was drifting over to the left side, or was it like the way that they were trying to mark Morales because they couldn't handle him? Yeah, like, he ran them ragged all day. Yeah, say what you want about Morales, but he played well on Saturday. Yeah, he did play well. As much as I hate to say that, but yeah. I don't like him. So do you really want to get on to your second point about McInnes um, leaving? So, my second point is... I've got, well, I've got a few, but I, I'm just going to build it up. So, like, okay. the second one is what really annoys the Aberdeen fans the most, is when he comes to interviews after the games. So this one, the Rangers one after the game, it's a classic Derek McInnes. He makes up the, what, these little excuses for the... For games, so like for example, with all the injuries that we have, and that's him set for excuse for games and stuff like that. So pretty much this interview, what I picked up, everything he blamed. One of the things that he blamed was the amount, well, like the amount of youth that's in the team and the amount of inexperience. So the youth team was not a problem because Campbell and McLennan, uh, from what I've seen in games, they they've been they've like been one of the best players in the teams. Like Campbell last season when he came in midfield to play at Rangers and Anselic and stuff like that. Because he came in because of someone was injured in the midfield, I can't remember who now. But he did very well in there. And McLennan, he has experience a lot. Yeah. Not, not as much as some players, but he played a lot last season. So also, but um, Scott Wright wasn't in the team, but um, Scott Wright has a lot of experience for us as well. And he's a young player. And Ferguson, he played pretty much, at, I think, pretty much for every game last season for us, was um, that's not a lack of experience. And it was him, him McLennan, and Campbell in the field. We've all played games. Campbell played against Rangers and stuff and so it's like that. So that's a good experience. And also has that um, McLennan, he's played against Rangers and so as well. And first has got loads of games on his belt. And the second one, he played the injuries as well, which, um, fair enough, the injuries would have been um, like affected the team a bit, but it's still not enough excuse for losing five of the team that we put out. If you agree with me, with me there, yeah. Uh, and then the extra time in midweek was not the problem. Hits also went to extra time, but some um, no Rangers also played a game in um, midweek. But yeah, we did play longer than them, I suppose. But we should still be like able to, because that to be able to play. Yeah. I just well, want, I just want to say, you know, with the money that Rangers have got, I don't mind. I don't mind losing five 0 to them if they've played really well and you know we played all right. But you know it wasn't our yeah, best. But it was just 
It yeah. was just the way we performed that was really annoyed me. Because it didn't, it didn't look like we cared at all. Um, it didn't look like we were interested in the games. It still looked like we were, we were a bit not mentally right after that result against Hearts. And it just, yeah, it, it wasn't a great watch at all. So continue. Yeah, so as I, as also my, my third point is, this is my like, last point, is do you think that Garrett McInnes is going to take the club further forward? Because I don't at all. Because I think he, I don't think he's going to get us past the round of three in the uh, Europa League with the amount of money he has to spend and the way that he played us against um, Rijeka was, in, in my opinion, the best because we sat back too much okay. in that. And that home game, and as soon as Wilkin put the handball in it or something like that, I can't remember what it was now. It was off the top of my head. Yeah, but, um, yeah it was so so exciting. And then our team, had, we, we should have come out a little bit more and tried to fight for a away goal, but we seemed to just sit back and just let them do their stuff there, which I didn't think was um, good enough. But I don't think he can take his head further for forward. I don't think we will sack him. I think he would have to leave himself because I don't think... Oh, like, but now, for example, if you went to Rangers, Rangers would have sacked him by now if this was going on. Yeah. Like this. Like, because we keep on getting continuous bad results, which isn't, um, which isn't okay, to be honest. If we're drawn to St. John's in the home, it shouldn't be happening at all. Yeah, so my question to you is, that obviously with all the money that Stephen Gerrard's been given as the Rangers manager, do you think if you give McInnes the amount of money that Stephen Gerrard got, I'm not talking about the league or anything, I'm talking about that Vierka match that you were saying, if you give McInnes that amount of money, do you think we go through against Vierka? You mean at this moment in time? No, in that Europa League game against Vierka, do you think we go through? Okay. Uh, if we get well, that money, that, if we if we take the stadium out of the equation, yes, probably we might have put up a better fight. But I'm not sure with the type of players that McInnes would bring in with the money that he's got, because like with the money that we're gonna get, if we sell McKenna, for example, where's the money gonna go? It's gonna go to the stadium, and some of it will come into players. Yeah. But if if we take the stadium out of the equation and he got the money that Gerrard has. Yes, I think we would have. Maybe because the player that he wants to bring in is different to Gerard. Gerard wants a player for every single position, so there's loads of competition in his team. And it's more attacking and stuff like that than our team. And what Derek McInnes likes is to put our team more like defence, if you know, defensive. And then, because we play very defensive, I think he tries to take more defensive players when we need more attacking midfielders like Scott Allen and stuff like that, the hips have got. We need more players like Christie when he was here. We need more attacking players. But I, to be honest, with that, Riaka, Rangers, and Rangers have they played together. I think Rangers, um, yeah, I think we probably might. We'd, I would be close because Riaka have a decent amount of money from what I've heard as well. So I'm not sure, but it would be, it'd be interesting to see. And I, it, I'd probably say we probably would win if we had yeah. that amount of money. See. But um, we're never going to have that amount of money, and we we can't accept we can't accept that we have to accept that. Sorry, that Celtic and Rangers will always have more money than us, but we still need to put up a little bit of a fight towards it. Which I don't think Darren McInnes gives our team the right and um, attitude to go into games. To be honest, and the tactics that we get because it seemed like we just done um, from minute one. The team that was set out seemed like they were just there to just just watch Rangers do their stuff. To be honest, yeah, I see. What, I see what you mean. So, um, what do you think can really not save McInnes' job? But between now and the end of the season, what do you think can make Aberdeen fans more happier with? McInnes. Obviously, you know, you can go on about, oh, we need to win the Scottish Cup, we need to get we need to get third in the league or something like that. But what genuinely do you think that McInnes has to do to really save his job? So at this time this moment in time, I don't know, we're not winning the Scottish Cup. So we can t- I, I think we can take that out of the equation. Okay. Um, unless I think if someone gets changed at the current at this current time. I don't think we'll win the Scottish Cup because I think Celtic are too strong for us. But I, I think what would change our fans' way of thinking towards it is he gets us to the Scottish Cup final, for example, because we'll probably play Celtic there, and we've got a really good fight, yeah. and try our best. Like, like we did a few years ago. Yeah, put 100% in, like when Celtic were 
Brendan Rodgers and they were absolutely outstanding. Yeah, the one where um, they, we only lost 2-1 at Hamden. I remember Johnny Hayes scored. That, I was yeah. really proud of Aberdeen that day because I thought we put that in a really, a really good, good fight. And that's what, that's what Aberdeen fans would like to see. We were not annoyed with our team or Derek McKez after that game. We were not no. annoyed with them at all. We were proud of our team that we put in 100% against a very, very good Celtic team at that time. Yeah. They, were, they were outstanding that season. That was their invincible season, if I'm correct. Yeah. <laughs> so, Derek McKez, he would have to get the Saul's home run back together. He'd have to beat the old firm, or at least get points away from home. I think we need to beat He'd Celtic this year, personally. At home about us losing to the old firm all the time. That needs to end. Yeah. We need to at least put up a fight there. We need to get three points out of them sometime in the season. And we need to get a Scottish Cup final. And, um, yeah, yeah. Just, he needs a good run of form. He needs to stop at the style of play that we're playing. He needs to make it, especially at home, a bit more exciting for our fans. Because the games that I've been to this season, for example, the away games like St. Mary's, it was an absolute waste of money where it played absolutely terrible yeah. and didn't create a thing. Uh-huh. And the excuse for that was the pitch, but uh, each team plays on the same pitch, so it's, it's not an excuse at all because, like, St. Mary's were playing on the exact same thing as us and they still managed to play their game. And also, that, that game, Dundee, that was another awful got very lucky in, yeah. in, that, in that 90 minutes I mean the extra time we did play pretty well in that I think yeah I, got, I, me- I remember I was there that game and I just thought what's going on at that time because we looked we didn't even look like we were going to score no we, we we were so lucky in that game we didn't even deserve to get through to the next round did we no so maybe our luck ran out when we lost the heart like we, we were under we were like we were like and had some great chances against us and I think yeah. they should have beat us well, they definitely should have taken something from the match. Yeah. Um, my my really last point is going to be, as we've sort of touched on, the Scottish Cup final a couple of year, a couple of years ago were against the Invincibles of Celtic. You know, only two one defeat, a great performance. And personally, with as I've said, with the money that Celtic have got, I don't think you can bring in another manager in really that Aberdeen can really get realistically that could put up a better performance and set out a better team with a good mentality in that game to play any better than we did that day against Celtic and that just shows what McInnes can do to his side none of this or park the bus park the bus let them come at us and let's try and nick one on the break no if we go out full force we try we try our absolute best and put 100% in I don't think any manager that we can get could put anything like that into an Aberdeen team like we did that day and could perform any better. So that's just why I think that um, Derek McInnes, we've shown what he can do, although he does do it on a very non-consistent level, that he has shown in certain games, maybe we, and you get a couple of them a season, um, that he definitely can set out an Aberdeen team to play like that. And that's why I just think that no other manager could do that. And that's why I think Derek McInnes should probably stay at Aberdeen. Yeah, um, and I just want to say, like, um, most of the things that I've read from Aberdeen fans is mainly negative now about McInnes. Yeah. And um, now we, we, I think we should give him a little bit more time, but if this keeps on going, more and more fans are going to turn against him, and it's eventually going to go until he's like, we're actually having protests outside the stand, like Craig Levine, if yeah. it keeps on going like this. Like, if we don't bounce, at least bounce back against hips at all. I think he's going to have more people that are thinking about, like, is it time for the Kirkus leaves? I think he's done the best that he can do at the club now, and I don't think he can take it any further. Then, And that's why I'm saying that um, he he has to go, to be honest. And I respect what he's done here in the fourth season. He can take it any further than he has. Yeah, so the last thing I want to speak about is the game against Hibs on Saturday at Pitodby. What type of turnout do you think there'll be from the Aberdeen fans? Um, I think it'll be like a lot of empty seats, to be honest. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think people are going to turn up because the South people that are playing is not exciting for our fans to come along to. I think 12,000 maybe, 11,000, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Not I great. Think. That's great, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just not really happy with not so much the results that we're getting at the moment, but it's just the way we're performing in them. Because personally, even with the Hearts game in midweek, I did I did think that we were really lucky to even get to extra time against them, because you know I think two two and losing in pens actually flattered us, because yet again I think Hearts dominated us and were fitting yeah. and were the better team. And I personally yeah. think if we did get to Hamden against Rangers, I think it would be another another hammering. Probably, yeah. And that would not have been pretty to watch. So I've got nothing else to say, to be honest. What about you? Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, you can let yeah. us know down in the comments what you think. Um, what your opinions are on the whole Derek McInnes situation at the moment I personally just think I think what would make me happy more than the most is just putting a, a decent performance make make it look like the players actually care about what they're doing you know don't don't go and lose 5 0 to Rangers without without uh, putting, in, putting in any effort I just think that the players have got to perform a lot better and we need to get a win against Hibs on Saturday or else if we get beat there's going to be some serious questions so maybe we'll come back next week and we'll maybe have another talk about it but for now I think that's all from us uh, you can let us know down in the comments what you thought what you think of the Derek McInnes situation and yeah, I think until next time, um, everyone stand free. Goodbye.